Hey guys, and welcome back to Size Factory. So we've uh, we've got both of these that are a an entire Mark III belt of ore. That is something I wanted to check though. These are the three high, so it's three six nine. That's only ninety that's going up. Hmm, so maybe there is. Ah, so that's one hundred and twenty that's coming in. Ninety is used, so thirty should be left. Oh, okay. Um, well, I was looking at it and I think I do want to have so instead of having it like that what I think I do want to do is for now anyway have a splitter there. Ah, that's close. Is that it? Nope. Fucking hell, man. Okay. Right, that's straight. And then, oh! Right, now we bring that there, then... Alright, we do the exact same thing here. I don't know if it's possible to put a merge not a merge not a splitter. A merger. Turns out that coal belt is too close. Alright, well we can sort that in a little bit. Um, so the reason I'm doing that is so that we can have, obviously, the excess from... The excess from these belts continue. That makes sense. So we can do that and then have I'm basically trying to do um Priority splitting, but I don't know how these the AI splitter things work. But that should that there should automate a lot of the stuff that we're going to need. Uh, not a lot of the stuff we're going to need. That there should automate the uh, the other junk that we need. The what's it called? Poles. The poles that we need. Uh, right. So for oh, bench. So I need Why don't we remove the the 
those and remove the motors just now. Actually, no, nah, motors are fine. I need 100 stators and 100 rotors. And we got them over here. Easy peasy. Alright, so now we just need to make the... Ah, don't make more rotors. Are you stupid? I need motors. There we go. Just make a 50 of these. And I do apologise for making these, like, by hand. But I removed everything because I'm a numpty. All right, so I'll be that'll be the motors done. Um, it's a lot of screws. Right, that's the motors done. Then I'm gonna need to. First off, ah, oh, we don't we don't have any extra stairs. We do have extra of those. Dump that, oh, keep those. Right, motors are done, we're good for that. I need 250 modular frames. So... Two hundred and fifty of those requires seven hundred and fifty iron plates and fifteen hundred iron rods. Christ. That's a lot of iron rods. Each of those will make what's that? It's nine that's one point eight thousand iron rods when I go and collect everything from all of the, the machines. So that'll be fine. We've got reinforced iron plates. Do we have 750 of them? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Ah, yeah, we do. I don't know what we need all the screws for, though. Uh, well, let's might as well start making them out of the rods that we've got, and then the rods that I've got. I'm still, I'm still staging from the block. I can't make iron rods because they require iron ingots, and I only have plates. So I literally need to wait until the rods are done. Screws. I can make iron screws straight out of iron ingots, but that doesn't fucking help me. Because I don't have any iron ingots. Um, encased industrial beams. They... are literally just a case of getting some more... of these. Yeah, I need 250. I don't know how much they cost though. Cost four. So I need a thousand of those. Jesus Christ. Shit's expensive. But while I'm making the industri the encased industri uh, uh, words. While I'm making the encased industrial beams, we will be able to make uh the iron rods via the the other shit. We'll be able to make the iron rods via the, the automation that we've put together. Even though I haven't put together the full automation, but I want the jetpack before we start farting around with stuff like that. Oh, we're almost there, we're a fifth of the way already. That's not too bad. Not too bad. I hate having a manual craft though. We've got... I wonder if there's any like good alternate recipes that we could have had. Alright, oh, we're almost at 100 now. We're going to need to get some more... Alright. So if we need 100, then that's... Another hundred and forty. So what's that? Five. 
750. Hmm, I should take... I shouldn't have took just like half a stack, I should just take the full stack and drop that off. Alright, and then the rest is going to have to be steel beams. Alright. Okay, now make industrial steel beams until we... Until we run out of steel beams and then just keep swapping it over. Encased industrial beams. Yeah, I hate having to do, um... I hate having to do this manual crafting bullshit, but... When it's required, it's required, I guess. Like, I would have to set up a massive manual system to do this. To do something that I can do... Relatively easily. By the time that I, I set up a manual system to do this, I'll have it all done. Because I need this fucking jetpack. This is a requirement. <laughs> jetpack is a is a definite requirement. I find it weird. What like why does the why does the shopping list thing like why does it extend for encased industrial beams? I don't get that. Does it seem for reinforced iron plate? Is it just because of the names longer, so it extent? Like, I don't understand. Seems a bit silly. That looks like we'll be able to make the uh, the last 50 here. And then we've got steel pipe in a box. Now I think it's just iron rods and screws really. What's that for though? The modular frames and the heavy modular frames. 40... Two, Five more. Alright, so for the modular frame I need rods. Uh, we've got stitched iron plate, we don't need that though. What I was just making. Alright, so it's the heavy modular frame that requires the steel pipe and the rest of the stuff. Okay, but until we get there we need to use Rods. Alright. I think I'll take both of the uh the rods and the iron ingots from these. It's so annoying having to I have to run through this entire situation. Had I just placed an output? You know what, see while I'm... See while I'm down here, and I'm doing this running about shite. Like an absolute moron, man. I should probably at least place... A storage container and... A belt. Because at least then, it'll... The stuff will have somewhere to go. Right, second floor. I should go take the get a couple of sets of iron ingots from these. Fuck, I never set up second floor. Right, let's make some of the some of the iron ingots into rods and. Uh, make the iron ingots into rods, and then we can make the modular frames out of these.
and then the rest of that is slowly but surely automating itself. I should have just picked up as many rods as I could get and then crafted them and then picked up the iron ingots because I'm just adding an extra crafting layer onto this for no fucking reason. And then I need screws, yay! 4,000 bloody screws! I think my alternative recipe for screws gives more though, because that one, that one gives 6, and that one gives 12. Oh, it doesn't really. That gives the same amount because it's too, it takes two work to get 12. Uh, modular frames, that's it. Rice. I knew I should have just left up the, uh, the production of modular frames. I didn't expect I'd need to make like 250 of them within like three episodes. You know, I thought I thought that I was I was going to focus on just building up that like my production line. I didn't expect to unlock a fucking jetpack. That's the thing. I'm going to do all of this, and then it's going to be like, and for the computer, you need to do this. I know I need to get oil sorted for the computer, and that's like, I, I totally accept that. I feel like what I should do is bootstrap the outputs just now. Uh, right, I've done that, now... I've got enough for a single... Oh, okay, because it's, it's a screws issue. Let's go three up. At least that's the end of this level. Okay, three up's not been done either. I should just finish these. Okay, so we'll get four up. So from four up, down. Uh, so from four up, up, rather. I swear though, this entire setup just makes me want to finish off what the fuck I was doing. Alright. Okay, looks like we're... Drop the craft bench here. Alright, what was I making? Oh, modular frames. All right. We'll at least get a decent chunk through these. Until we need to, uh, we need to pick up rods for screws. Don't know how many of that is that we'll need. <coughs> Uh, not rods, sorry, we'll need to pick up just iron bar for screws. Iron... Yeah, iron bar. The reinforced iron plate is rapidly diminishing now. <clears throat> what is that? We need 200 and... about 250 more rods. Nice. Just a fucking pain in the ass having to do this manually, I hate it. I hate manual crafting in most things, to be fair. So it's a game based around automation and what Steve are doing, he's spending an entire fucking episode manually crafting. I'm going to make this one go long for a bit because I want to finish off, uh, I want to finish off these heavy industrial frames in this episode.
Alright. Someone asked me, they were like, CJ, why, like, why is all your episodes only 20 minutes? Like, do you have a... Does your recording software stop at 20 minutes? It's like, no, it's just people tend to, uh... People tend to respond better to 20 minute videos. Like, I done, um... I done some testing with, uh, Factorio on, like, if people preferred to watch hour longs or if they preferred to watch 20 minute videos or or what and the way it worked out is that people watched people watched a higher percentage of a 20 minute video than they did an hour long so it was like well what's the point in me what's the point in me producing an hour long video if people are just going to watch less of it do you know what I mean it make any sense to me anyway Easiest way to get down without hurting myself. Yeah, it didn't make much sense. Um, for me not to just do the... Uh, the 20 minute videos. So ba basically, for example, I do a 20 minute video and I get an average watch duration of 10 minutes. So people will watch roughly 50% of the video on average, which is fucking phenomenal. Um, but when I was doing hour long videos, you would expect... You would expect that to then be like, okay, people on average would watch... 30 minutes of the video, but the thing that generally, I said video, not Bixby, you stupid fucking phone. Go away, go away, no, go away. Um, so yeah, people on average were watching, uh, are watching 25 minutes worth of the video, so you would expect, uh, 20 minutes, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Bixby, you fucking bell end, you put me off. People on average were watching... Uh, 20, a 20 minute video they were watching 10 minutes, so you would assume that for an hour long they would watch half an hour. Um, but unfortunately that's not the way it works, because people will generally watch the entire video, or at least most of a video, and your overall watch time is dried down by the people who click on a video and then just click off. So. What was happening was your hour, my hour long videos were getting dragged down to like 15 minutes average watch duration. Um, so that meant that people weren't, weren't watching as much of the videos. Then on top of that, um, you would expect that for an hour long video you would earn three times as much as a 20 minute video, but I wasn't, I was only earning like one and a half times as much. So I was basically like doing myself out of like, I was getting paid less for the same amount of work, if that makes sense. Like, a lot less. Wait, why do I still need 12 iron rod? I don't know. I'll make sure I keep 12 iron rod. I don't know why I still need them. But I'll keep a hold of them. Okay, what am I, what am I making just now? Heavy modular frames. I think it's just because I'm short of steel pipe and screws. I use a lot of screws, you 90 bloody screws at a time. That's insane. I wonder... I mean, I could do two Mark III belts of screws and that might... I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do when I automate, like, screws and stuff. What am I missing? Screws again. Uh, I need, like, 400 steel pipe, which is in here. Okay, and now I need screws. Which I can easily grab screws by... It's weird. Wait, there's only one iron... Oh, of course there's only one iron ingot, because that's output. <clears throat> there we go. Grab that, grab that. That's the thing, one set of these, oh my god, get out of my face! One set of these gives me like 500 iron ingots. To then be turned into screws, so, helpful. Alright, so let's do alternative recipe screws. 
And I've got enough now to make me 3,000 screws, so... Hold on the bloody button. <clears throat> but yeah, so it turns out that um, having... Oh, because I still apparently need to make two modular frames. But I don't, because I've got 125. I must have just made far too many on the, the list. That's why I need more shit. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't do any longer videos, because so extensive A-B testing over the years has meant that... Uh, that that's basically how things go. Although there is something that I'm, I'm actually meaning to ask everyone, which I'll, I'll probably ask at the start of next episode as well, because that makes it probably more likely for people to actually be watching. But I feel really scummy, like I hate, I hate asking stuff like this because I feel like it's one of those like generic tropes of YouTube, but um, I want to try and test how more comments and engagement actually affects videos. As far as I'm aware, um, ratings, as in likes and dislikes, don't affect videos anymore. But I know for a fact that comments do. Um, so what I'm going to ask is that even if you, like, if you enjoy this video, even if you've got nothing to say about it in the comment section, can you at least just be like, great, satisfactory video, see Joe, it was awesome, really enjoyed it. Just like, something small like that. I used to, uh, any any of you who've been uh, around for a while, I'm just going to make over the screws because I seem to always need them. Uh, any of you who've been around the channel for a while might have remembered I'd done a video ages ago asking you guys like if you, um, if you enjoyed the video to leave a plus in the comment section even if you've got nothing else to say but that ended up getting picked up by the the YouTube comment bot as spam so uh, it didn't actually help unfortunately. There's still some people that do it though, and I make sure that I approve all the comments. But yeah, it gets uh, it gets picked up as spam, which is really sad. Um, so don't do the plus anymore, but if you could like leave leave a message that at least somewhat pertains to the video. There's a guy called Alan who does this on every single video, and he always leaves like a, a different little message. It's not, it's never big or, like it's never a long message or anything. It's just like a little message pertaining to the, a little message pertaining to the video. And I'd like to see if more comments and more engagement really like helps boost it in the algorithm. And uh, while you're there, if you can just drop a like on the video as well, that'd be great. But uh, like I say, I, I, I hate asking stuff like that because it, it seems really scummy. Like, it's one of those things that is like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's like, whatever, man. Like, people will generally comment, like, if they want, but I, I guess if you're going to make it to the end of a 27-minute video, which is literally just me handcrafting stuff, then you're probably one of my regulars and you wouldn't mind spending, like, a couple of seconds to... Uh, to help a brother out. I don't like that. No, don't do that. Don't, that's disgusting. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm beginning to think that things like that matter, and there's a couple other things that I'm going to test in the, in the near future to try and, to try and boost stuff as well. But we only need computers now, so let's get computers selected. Let's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so I do need screws. But I need plastic and circuit boards. And to get... 250 circuit boards, I'm going to need 2,400 plastic. And to get 2,400 plastic, I'm going to need... Is there a way, like... Nope. I'm just going to need to click. Uh, so yeah, there's a there's a couple of things that um. Two thousand. Uh, I've got an auto clicker on my keyboard. Two thousand four hundred. There we go. All right, so that is going to be for the next episode. But if you if you wouldn't mind doing that, that'd be uh you'd be doing me a great favor. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.